Well, thank you guys for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope. We pray for you all because we believe in the power of prayer. Because we're praying to the truth and living God of the universe who hear the prayers and we answer them all in His own perfect timing. Because His timing is perfect and His timing will always be perfect. Amen. Amen. And also we share the good news of Jesus Christ right out of this true and active living word of God which brings a free gift of salvation to you all if you believe by faith alone and if you repent of your sins and if you do all that it offers you the best gift of all which you can ever receive in this lifetime when you die which is eternal life of Jesus Christ forever. Amen. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, God is good. Give him a shout of praise before we begin. One, two, three. Jesus, you are good. You are worthy. Brothers and sisters, he's good. He's worthy. Remember that each day. He's good. And he is. Today, we got a good topic we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about how we go through troubles, but how God is always with us. Whose things that we go through. With, yes, whose things that we go through. We're going to be in Psalms 34, verse 19. So if you have your Bibles, I encourage you to follow along and flip to that passage. And as you're flipping that, I will open us up in a brief word of prayer. Um, I love the book of Psalms. I always say um, speak to every, it speaks to every situation that we go through in life. Happy situations, sad situations, good situations, bad. You name it. So I encourage you to follow along. And then we'll, and we'll begin. So let's pray. Let's, let's open up in prayer. Father God, thank you for who you are today. Thank you for your love that never fails. Lord, would you speak to us now by this encouraging passage. Father, convict our hearts where we need to be convicted. Grow us where we need to be grown. We love you, Lord. Help us love you more. Amen. You guys ready? Psalms 34 verse 19 says this. The righteous person may have, tro many, tr may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. Brothers and sisters, can we read, the, we read this one more time and as we reread this a second time, let's meditate on this passage and ask God that he would speak to, speak to us about what this means to us. You guys ready? Let's, let's read it again. The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. Brothers and sisters, what does this mean? How does this start out? It says, the righteous person may have many what? Troubles. Who's the righteous person? The Christian. You saw your name in there. Brothers and sisters, what's the one thing that God promised? He said, and said, He said, Take heart, you will have troubles. No. He said, You will have troubles in this life, but take heart, I have overcome the world. God didn't promise a trouble free life. But God did promise that he would be with us. He said, take heart, I have overcome the world. And he, and he has, by dying on the cross. And he's going to be coming back one day to take us home. If we have believed and accepted him. We can talk more about that in another video. The righteous person may have what? Many troubles. Here comes the hope. But the Lord, what? Delivers them. But the Lord delivers him from them all. God delivers you from your troubles. I don't know what your troubles is. Maybe you're going through a rocky relationship, a rocky marriage. Maybe you found out some health news about yourself or about a loved one. These, no matter what the situation is, whether it's a rocky relationship, rocky marriage, health news, maybe grades that you got back from a test, no matter what the situation is, they can all be way down the hut, and it counts as troubles. But guess what? Through all the troubles, God delivers you from it all. God delivers him from it all. So what's my encouragement? What's my hope for you today? My encouragement, my, my simple hope is this. I don't know what troubles you're facing. I don't have to know what troubles you're facing. All I just want to say is whatever the troubles you're facing, just know that God delivers you from your troubles. Take heart in knowing that. God is with you in your troubles and he sees what you're going through and nothing is a, is a, is a surprise to him. So take heart in knowing this truth and knowing this promise. Amen? Amen.
But brothers and sisters, if you guys remember what came to God before, we guys would like to come back to God right now and under the prodigal son. And here's what you do. You pray this simple prayer from the silence of your own heart. Repeat these words after me. Father God, I confess I'm a sinner. I confess my need for you. Would you please come in my life, Lord? I could not do this life without you, Lord. You're the only hope I have, Lord. I repent of all my sins, and I turn to you and accept you as my Savior. Amen. Well, if you just prayed this prayer today for the first time with us, we pray this prayer in honor of the prodigal son, then I want to welcome you to the family of God, or welcome you back into the family of God. Because Scripture says when one walks in the family of God, or one walks back in, heaven rejoices, and I rejoice along with you as well. And I've also been praying for this very moment, because this is truly the most important decision that one can ever make with life, or that one can has already made with life is by placing their faith in Jesus Christ alone and repenting of the sins and accepting the free gift of salvation he, that, that he offers. It's the most important decision. Everything else is temporary in this world, brothers and sisters, and I mean it. Temporary. This world will fade away. Only the things done for God will last. But everything else will fade away, and I mean it. You can talk more about that in another video as well. Lots more topics to be talked about. Well, if you just made this decision today for the first time with us, we committed your life to Christ today. I encourage you to reach out to me or to someone because we want to give you resources and next step to take on this very important decision being made today. We don't want to market you at all. We don't want to press you. We just simply want to walk alongside you and let you know what's next on this very important decision that you made today. And also, we just want to be praying for you because we first, first and foremost here believe in the power of prayer. So we want to be covering you in prayer as you continue along this journey that you made today and this decision. Well, brothers and sisters, God bless you all today. As I send you all on your way, will you put your hands up to receive it? May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you. And may you never forget that we may have troubles in this life, but the Lord, the righteous person may have troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. Brothers and sisters, let's remember that we may have troubles, but God delivers us from them all. Amen? Amen. Well, um, if you were encouraged by this video, as I always say, I, and you feel like someone else needs to be encouraged by it, would you please do me a favor? Click on that share button and share this hope with them and share this encouragement with them. This truth it needs to get out of there. People need hope. People need to find out the truth. Nah. The truth will set people free when people find out the truth. So I encourage you to share this video if you feel called to. Um, if you guys just need hope for your life or prayer, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm always here for you guys. And until next time, keep question number one and have a very blessed day. Peace. God bless you all.